Hello everyone and welcome back to The Infected. So it is 4.30 in the morning, it's day four. Um, last video, Ruth had some amazing thank you, thank you, thank you advice on what I need to do and what I need to get prepared for. And apparently winter's coming and I don't know how many days per season this is. It's day four. I don't know when winter is going to be here. I don't like Celsius, but it's because I learned off of Fahrenheit. Uh, anyways, so I, proteins are doing good. Thirsty is kind of low. I need to go out and kill some stuff. I've got five arrows. I need to make a bunch more. What I was looking at, I was just kind of going through the uh, itempedia and trying to find items. She mentioned something about a drying rack, and I'm not quite sure where that would be. Oh, that's a nice stairwell. Oh, it's much nicer than what I've got, but... Um, it's also mentioned that I need to finish the house, which I, I definitely need to do. So whether or not I'm going to put this stairwell and do all this stuff or just close it off for now, I'll probably just going to close it off for now and work with this and build around the outside of it until I have a better understanding of the weather, how the cold weather affects you as a player, whether it does damage. But I was going through the itempedia and I saw like the winter coat, 10 heat, 2 armor, uh, 10 feathers, and 25 plant fibers. That's really, really easy to craft. Uh, the same thing with snow pants. Unfortunately, I can't make any shoes because there are just no standard shoes. It looks like there are boots, and I need Kevlar for that. And I uh, Let's see if I can find out how to... I, I'm kind of going through all of this, and you all don't need to see me go item by item. Okay, what is this? What is this? All right, I... So I just kind of do that off camera. Um, but I really, really wanted to find the drying rack. I guess uh, Ruth mentioned that I need to fish and start storing food for the winter. I said, I don't know what happens with the animals. I don't know if they kind of disappear. Uh, I don't know if there's just a lot less of them. But when it comes to the standard itempedia, I'm not sure how to craft... Um, Placeable, storage, weapon rack, clothing rack, drying bro. Okay, that's uh, chest, ingot. All right, well, here's the food. Drying rack. All right, fantastic. So, yeah, it was my stupidity and not understanding. 25 iron ingots for a metal stove. Yeah, so this is what I want to work on today. Get out there, get fishing get the house done that's going to take a little while so what i was doing i need to keep this going to keep stock up my firewood i'm probably going to move make another shelter here on the side like right here uh, with two of these coverings one for the campfire and have it over here so it's out of the way and the other being firewood for the campfire and having another stack of firewood for these here now, I need two more stones because I've been making... Actually, I can do... I can't click and drag. So I got that. So there's another iron ingot. So that's going to be enough for one drying rack. Now, where I want to put these racks, I don't have a lot of room in here. There's no doubt about that. So I'm going to probably cancel this. Uh, let's see. Delete to remove. So delete, confirm. I need to get this wall done. Get these ceilings done. Um, I'd like to get this done, but I need two more ingots and a ton of planks so I can move the storage over here, and maybe I can put the two drying racks right here. Not going to be a lot of room at first, but this is the first playthrough I have, and it is really dark, so I'm hoping y'all don't see, or y'all can see, <laughs> that's a better statement of it. I think I have a spear, I do, so I can go fishing if need be. And I did kind of find a way to sheath my weapons, because in my games, I don't like carrying the weapons around. But if you do that and do that, your weapon is sheathed. I have a ton of arrows, so let's see what this boar can do. Alright, apparently one shot to the head. Because they look mean. Ooh. Um, that's not going to be in the food, it's going to be in here. Okay, so yeah, I'll move. Nice. Very nice. All right, and I'm gonna have to carry. 
If I go out questing in villages or towns or cities or whatever they are, I'm gonna have to bring this cart with me so I can sheathe my weapons. <laughs> oh gosh, that'd be bad. All right, can these stack in three? Beautiful, they can. And there's another bone, so we do that. I've got a ton of feathers. I've got a ton of plant fibers. I'm assuming if it's not summer and you're wearing those clothes, you're gonna get really, really, really thirsty. So let's go ahead and get this campfire started with a few sticks and stones. No, with just firewood. Get the lighter. There's a lot of raw meat. I don't I, I don't know if even meat can get burned. I'm assuming it can. I'm going to need to find a spot inside for these uh, plant beds because I guess they die in the winter, which is also very, very, very good to know. Very, very good to know because that would have been quite bad. But yeah, thank you, Ruth. Thank you very much for that. And if you have any more suggestions, please keep them coming because I... It's fun to see people find out the hard way on things, especially when it's, they're doing it for entertainment purposes. Um, but at the same time, if I can avoid it, I would really like to. So we get two more stones, which will be enough for that iron fragment. So there'll be another iron ingot. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, I don't even know how big this thing is. So let's figure out, it's not gonna be there. Placeables, food. Oh. Ooh. All right, I guess I can't put it inside. Ooh. All right, so, well, that answers that question. What I'm gonna do then, we can finish this wall, logs and planks. And what? What? One more log. I only got two? Okay. Well, apparently. Alright, that wall's done. So I'm going to do this. And this. Uh, I feel like I'm falling behind. I'm going to have to get this fence up. What is this gatehouse? That's not a gatehouse. Where's the gate? I don't know. I'll look around for that. Maybe I'll run across it. Uh, what did I need? A shelter. Alright, so there. Did they snap? No, unfortunately not. Alright, so these... So just logs. Alright. So what I'm going to do today, because I want to get a lot progressed, but I don't want y'all to have to see me doing the wood grinding part of it. You know the plan on what I'm doing. Building those shelters, going to get some wood drying racks underneath, going to finish up that iron fragment so that I can get the ingots and make two racks. And I'll come back when I'm getting ready to do fishing. But yeah, this is just going to be a boring grind for wood and... I can't make that very entertaining, unfortunately, because it's not very entertaining to begin with. But all survival games, okay, that axe broke, have the grind to it. And there's no point in you guys watching me do the grind, because y'all have already done the grind. Let's see. Ooh, I got a plank on me, too. Okay. All right, let's get rid of the sticks and stuff. Get rid of the sticks and stones and the planks. And that's something else I really, really need to do is just grind wood, get a ton of, get all those filled up with planks, start on this fence. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyways, I'm yabbering and gibbering and jabbering. So let's get this done. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. So I'll be right back when I've gotten it done. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back. So I've got one of them done. I've got the materials for the other one and waiting on the iron ingot. But I see this box. There we go. 
So I want to get some more meat. I want to use this drying rack and see about the meat. All right, and in feathers, I am definitely, definitely interested in feathers. Whoops. I really hope I get arrows back if you miss. But last time I missed, I didn't get it. So it looks like that's kind of a thing. I've got to be really careful then. But, all right, so if I do this, with the raw meat, beautiful. i eat just a bunch of stuff, because I don't know. What is this? Boiled food. Okay, if that's created that, maybe... Oh, I didn't want to do that. watermelon oh so there's no fertilizer so I don't know what this does so we're just gonna definitely not that oh I can't I see all right well, that helps with your thirst spoils in so that's seconds minutes hours so two hours I'll go ahead and eat that Flask. I've noticed this campfire does not last long at all. But what I was going to do is... Oh, there's a table. I wonder if you can actually do stuff on the table. have this and then I'll move everything under here so that way I can access it from the front door and just come right out here as well. But this campfire, man, this thing, oh, I don't have any, okay, I gotta get that going again. This thing does not last long. Oh. Oh, well, wait a minute, it still had, did the water put it out? Oh, for Pete's sake, stop doing that. Alright, so let's go check on the stone. Alright, there's an ingot. Alright, so there's that. There's that. I wonder how long... Okay. I wonder how long it's good for when it dries. Usually dry meat lasts a very, very long time. Thirst. All right, so let's go. I did kind of want to move that campfire maybe closer to the back once this back area is filled out a little more. So I'm closer to this water. This is definitely kind of an annoying run back and forth. But what turned out to be a beautiful day today... One more. I'm hoping I can actually craft or maybe find more canteens or containers for water. I guess flasks are what they called in this game. I don't know. Everyone's got their thing. There's a Biden, there's a canteen, there's a flask. I mean, it's. All right, so. Ooh, I almost put that fire out. That would have been mad. Okay. Uh, which direction is this? Doesn't tell me, there's no compass. All right, the sun, that looks like the sun right there. I know it sets in the west, so I'm assuming it's getting dark. I know the best time to go fishing is literally during the day. So you can actually see the fish. Cause yeah, I can't see anything in here. 
I want the big fish. Come here, big fish. <laughs> oh, come here, fish. There we go. This dude's definitely buoyant. He's just comes right to the top every time. I mean, yeah, I can go for the smaller ones. If I can get them. Oh, no. When he dies right after. Okay, come on. Get out of the water. That's, oh, man, yeah. We we'll grab that one in the water. It's dead. I don't know how long they hang out there for, but hopefully it's long enough for me to come run back. All right, and okay, they stack in fours. That's good. Feathers, that's fine. Animal fat, I don't know what that's for, but does it expire? It does not. All right, another bone. All right, cool. All right, oh wait, you gotta drop them on the ground and then harvest. And I'm gonna cook one just so I can have the protein a little quicker. And that's all clean water. I got that. Oh, there's some more spoiled meat. All right, a lot of potatoes. Yeah, that, that's cool. Now, as for... house that needs to get built all right so I don't pick up the arrow so I got to make sure to grab that arrow how many do I have left I have three okay now as for this roofing I need to get this done and done quickly so I'm going to finish this up all right that's already there Okay, so y'all know the deal. I'm gonna do this offline. Cause I have no planks. I've got two here. And I wanna get the I was phasing out here. That's spoiled meat. Yep. I wanna get these stones in uh, in the basket. And Ruth did mention you can carry the basket around and collect stones which is great. Right, as you can see, I got a bunch of them. All right, so two of these. And we're gonna get that in there. I need more of those. I would like to have a chest somewhere around here. Maybe, hmm. I don't know, somewhere around here though, but just for this shards. Um, I really want to take out this wall, or maybe this one, since there's nothing in front of it, and I've got that chest there, so that I and maybe put a door here if I need to access it from outside. But the idea of running back and forth like this is kind of annoying. It's necessary for the ramp, for the wood, because I mean that I've got the cart, so it makes sense to get as close to the sawmill and storage as close as possible. But yeah, I, like I said, just a lot to do. I've got to get the house finished, though. It's not going to be a very big house in the beginning, but I can always build on it and then kind of go from there as I rebuild. But anyways, I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. Welcome back, everyone. So as you just saw, I've got a standard 2x3 um, house, which is great like to get this done and once this is completed I can move it 
I don't want to delete it when it's not finished. I don't know if I'm going to get four of the iron ingots back that I've put into this, but I would like to move it over here, uh, even though there are windows and such over here. But I don't know, or maybe, maybe I'll move it over here against this wall since I can't put the drying racks inside. But I don't know, what I was looking at is when I've got these planks over here, I can't run into here. I got to run all the way around to the front, and that's really annoying. But if I had the wall here, then I could just simply run this way and maybe close it off. Uh, take this stairwell down and put a wall here. But I don't know. Lots of stuff. Lots of different ideas that I can do. Uh, so we're going to take two of these and keep making. I mean, that's got a ways to go on all that. So I'm not concerned too much right now with carrying the basket around. Because that's, okay, another stone. Because, yeah, I do want to keep these iron ingots going as fast as possible. But as you can see, I've got a decent amount of stones. Now, granted, if I were able to use all the stones and make these, I could get more iron going faster. I don't know how necessarily it is to get massive amounts of iron at this very moment. Um, I know there are iron holders. Okay, that's the rope. And there's nothing I can do in here. There's more rope. I want to put the rope with the rope. And I take these. Okay, so you can just click and it fills up the existing ones. So yeah, I'm going to be taking these ropes and filling the fences in. Uh, today is day four, so I haven't slept or anything like that. I'm just getting a bunch of feathers and getting ready for the winter. All right, yeah, looks like I gotta... All right, so feathers are gonna go in here. And I can tell you, when you run out of stamina, holy cow, you're like practically at a crawl. So it's definitely important to not run out of the stamina, especially if you're running away from something. I can see that being a deadly, deadly thing. Now, with G... Is a way to keep your stamina and your health. How many arrows? Three. I want to find that wolf before he finds me. I would love to get the animal hide. question is with that howl there's no telling where he's coming from and I think they are really fast all right sounds like over here I'm gonna turn up my volume just a little more all right I don't know if foxes attack All right, dude, I'm not worried about you at the moment. There he is. Okay. Oh! Okay. When applied to a wound, uh oh. Okay. All right. Uh, lesson learned. Foxes do attack. All right. Do I get my health back is the question. You know what? I have not done this in a while. Let's save because I would hate to lose that. Yeah. All right, that is uh, a very big threat. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, that looks like a sheep or lamb or something over there. 
or deer maybe, I don't know, just something not hostile. Yeah, all right, so in other games, the um, foxes don't attack you, but apparently in this game they do. So that is really good to know. I'm not getting my health back, so maybe if I eat something, I'll get my health back. Uh, how many arrows? I got one. I need to make some more arrows. Let's see if I can stack more. All right, six and eight. Okay, so at least eight goes in a stack of that and six and at least of animal hide. So that's really good. Thirst and proteins. I don't think I had anything cooking. I may have. Wow, okay. So we're going to cook up this raw meat. And I just want to see... Alright, 17 hours. So that's roughly a day. And unfortunately when they do start... When they're done drying, the process starts for their timer. Which I know, I think in... Well, in Green Hell it does the same thing. So yeah, that's kind of the same concept. I'm not worried about killing anymore until I get more animals, or more arrows, I'm sorry. What is this, cucumber? Now, I really, really did like this staircase. I like this one a lot. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It looks like just possibly two squares, maybe three. I don't want to put it there. I'm just kind of looking at the idea on how much room it takes. Uh, let's see. It can be rotated, unfortunately. Is there a set of stairs that comes the other way? No. All right, developers, I'd like a stairwell coming down this way and that way. If possible. I mean, they're not going to see this video, but you never know. You never know. Because this takes up a lot of room. Yeah, that would be nice. So that way I can access the stairwell going up this way. And unfortunately, when you rotate it... I mean, yeah, I could do that. Uh, there, there we go. Alright, I ate. I didn't get any health back, so... Okay, it looks like I just got to eat more. Thirst is getting up there. This thirst is going to be a problem. I can definitely see this becoming an issue. Didn't I drink already? Oh, maybe I put it back. All right. Now, because this is all extra, uh, let's see, ceilings. And the cool thing about this, I've got all the wood right here. Oh man, am I going to be one log short? Yeah, I am. Four. Alright, grab this. I cannot state this enough. I love, love, love the sound of the thunder in this game. It's, it's, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. Here, let's grab some firewood. some stones I don't 
think water, I don't think there's like a wet debuff or anything. I don't have to worry too much about that. some of this and we'll put the bark in there I think bark is used to make fiber I've got so much fiber right now I'm not too concerned with that put that in there keep that going I have one stone there's four logs all right I want to grab more Ooh. Now it doesn't appear that physics actually has anything to do in this game. Alright, that's still going. I mean, I would like to get another one, but the moment okay so I have all the ingots needed for that holy cow 40 planks wood 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 is the name of this game that makes sense though I mean in subsistence your basic crafting component is wood as well All right, and welcome back. We're just finishing up this part and this. So now I'm going to, oh, thank goodness. I didn't have to move everything. Or take everything out. Uh, let's see, N. I mean, yeah, this is just a bad spot itself, but. I mean, it makes sense to keep your wood dry, right? All right, proteins, so dried meat. All right, we're gonna eat some cooked meat. A little more cooked meat. All right, so now we're gonna fill up on this thing again. We have more, yeah, it's a stone, okay. I was about to say, it better not be that dirty meat. I really, really, really want to get a campfire that's closer to the water and have that just particular. Now, this might be a thing. If you have a campfire that's not undercover, it again that's not under shelter and it's off because of course the fire is going to go out will the rainwater naturally fill up the buckets if it does then you can just simply take this move it over once the rains completely filled the bucket move it back over like the campfire and then you got like a natural source of water and I could have like maybe I don't know, this back area, I'm going to need some area for fighting, so it's going to have to be a little further away so I can kind of maneuver around the outsides of them. But maybe have like four, three or four campfires, and then have shelters over off to the side here, where it's not in the way of a lot of stuff. Once everything's full with water, put the shelters back over, use one firewood, for each source I mean I don't know about the lighter durability I don't know if this thing you use it too much and it goes away if it is I think it's one stone to craft I don't know it's something to do with that I, I don't know exactly what but yeah that wouldn't be difficult at all to do that would actually be really really um, 
here, I'll keep that going with that, but so you have the idea of what's I mean, look at this. There's just small stones everywhere to the point I'm filling up on this very, very well. And they continually come around. Now, granted, I took all the foliage out, so it would be a lot harder for me to find everything with that foliage there. And as I get used to the game, I'll, I'll start increasing the foliage so it doesn't not too difficult or too easy all the time. I just have no idea what I'm doing, and usually when you start a game and you have no idea what you're doing, you start off as easy as possible just to learn the basics and then you can kind of advance from there. But we need planks. We need lots of wood again. But what I would like is to find a way. I mean, what? I'm just picking up stuff. Picking up. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, there's that. That. I wanted to really finish that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. Ooh, out of state. Yeah, see, look at this. It's like a crawl. That would be extremely painful. Especially, like, if that wolf or that fox came after me and I couldn't run away. Uh, I oof. Now, I'm assuming that mud drying thing has to do with clay. So maybe you take clay, throw it in there, and it dries it out. Whether or not that's got to be under shelter, I, I don't know. It's something I'll learn. But I just, I don't want to stop playing. I don't want to stop recording. But if I know if I don't, it's going to be like a three-hour video. And I don't even have enough patience for that. So I can, yeah, yeah, I totally get it. Um, but I want to, I think what I'm going to end up doing, here, let's do this. Let's delete this. Because I haven't started with it yet. Let's move this. Oh, if this was only just a little. Hmm. All right, end to move, so. Yeah, let's move it over here because this is where all the rope and everything is pretty much at. And. Why can't I? Maybe because of this. All right, clear that. Um, delete. Um, real quick, we'll just throw that on there. Uh, this. to go there it is so now I'll be able to go up there right, what do I need for this planks and logs again this is gonna drive me nuts but I can't do anything until I finish it which is a ton of planks which comes down to more wood but anyways so what I wanted to do is at least get this finished. Okay, I have some planks on me. So that I can go up there and start building the walls around so you can kind of get the idea on how things are going to be. But this building does look like it's a lot of fun. All right, so there's some of that. I'll go ahead and eat that. I don't have a lot of energy. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the weight here. Okay. Lots of seeds. Uh, that's one thing I would like to make is a storage crate up there for all of my seeds. Oh my god, this. Alright, so here's one more iron. And what I was going to do is tear out this wall, move this over here, or maybe even up above. I mean, this is just going to be a basic little come in and either go this direction or this direction or up around but yeah everything's going to get moved up and that's going to be the main floor of everything but have this wall removed and up above here have my iron ingot holder up here 
so I could start storing all my iron ingots instead of keeping them on me. But I gotta get more logs and stuff, and I... Uh, let's do that real quick, even though it's like going on for so long. All right, three more. I mean, it's just three more logs. I can grab these real quick just to finish the stairwell. That's it. I'm just gonna finish the stairwell. I promise. That's it. <laughs> and there's just always something to do, and I love it. All right, so stairwell's complete. So I'll show you. Let me see. Mainly windows, just so I can see what's going on. So you gotta get the idea. So this is gonna be a lot of the building. A lot of the bed might I might keep like in this corner because that's just out of the way. But over here I have my iron stuff right underneath the forge. That way if I need to go to the forge, I can just run over here. This rack. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it offline, but yeah, you, you get the idea of what I'd like to do. But I think in the next few days, because it's going to go on day five, because I have five days to get a defensive perimeter set up before the horde starts coming in, which means more arrows and a lot more other things. But ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the episode, please down below, thumbs up, leave me some comments some suggestions some helpful tips so that I can learn quicker, get progressing quicker, and I don't have to waste, well, I don't want to say waste everyone's time because it is very, very enjoyable in playing a game even though you just run around and collect rocks and sticks and stones. But, I mean, look at this. There's another ingot. Oh, stop. Stop playing. Stop playing. Just get these on here. But have a fantastic day, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.